G'day everyone, Lauren Cress, the business scientist here and welcome to my first episode of The Cheat Sheets. The Cheat Sheets is where I give you a really, really quick template tool checklist thing for you to take action in your business to help you succeed. If that sounds like something you want to get updates on, make sure you hit the subscribe button and please uh, like this video. That would be Awesome. So today I'm going to share with you an updated version, an updated template of a digital bullet journal using Notion and you are free to use this yourself. So let me just share what I've created with you. If you're not familiar with Notion, um, there's a free version you can download. I'll put a link uh, in the description for you and I'm hoping I'll get an affiliate link from Notion soon too so um, that'll help me out and help to support this channel too if you can use that affiliate link once I have that. So once you have your Notion um, account you can access it directly also via the link I provide you to this template. What you're going to want to do is hit duplicate and when you hit duplicate it's going to take this template and put it straight on your Notion account. Now, if you're going to be a regular follower of the cheat sheet, everything I'm going to do is going to be on Notion. So I highly, highly recommend um, accessing that. I think it's a great tool for uh, business founders, consultants and coaches to be using. So essentially what I've done is I've taken the digital bullet journal. Um, if you want to find out more about the bullet journal itself, you can go check that out too. I'll put a link in the description and I have done a video on this before. This is super, super simple and I love it and I've been using it and it's amazing. So um, you're going to get this page and you're going to have two things in here. You're going to have a future log and when you um, press this little arrow and toggle down, it's going to give you your overview of the year to insert your notes into. And you can, you know, obviously update this, edit this to add in what you want. Like, for instance, if you want to put future log 2023 and have that there, um, that's all good. Um, then what I've done is I've created three months. I've created a quarter. When I tried to do this for the whole year, it made the Notion page too big to duplicate. So it's very, very simple. I'll show you in a minute how you can actually duplicate this. But if you toggle down here, what it's going to give you is it's going to give you three months. Now you can put in the names of the months that are coming up. And then when you go down into here, you'll be able to add all the things that you want to add via a normal bullet journal. So your monthly task list, you can insert all the things you want to get done there for the month. And then I've also segmented these into weeks. So if you toggle down, you've got the week. I've added this in. This is something I do for my bullet journaling, which is I go through my goals for the week, both from a work perspective and a life perspective. And then in each day, you have your different segments. So you can have uh, events in a particular color. I've coded them in purple, ideas in pink. You can also add that exclamation mark in like you would in a traditional bullet journal. And then I've put tasks as a checkoff list because when you check it off, it looks quite nice to have the line through it like, yes, I've done that, and um, urgent tasks as well. And then what you can do is say you didn't get certain things done on Monday or you need to move it to a different part of your calendar, you can just copy and paste it into the next day. So it's super, super useful. So that's pretty much it. All of this template will be editable on your Notion page. So what I'd suggest you do is if you want to play around with it, duplicate that page again on your own version so you have the template itself that you can use every year and then you can also um, if you make an error you can come back to that template so let me show you how you can copy things we'll just stop sharing for a minute this is on the editable version so now what you can do is you can see these little options come up here to plus and um, etc. So what you can do is simply press these little dots here and you press dupl duplicate and it will copy everything that you have in quarter one over to the next quarter. It might take a few minutes to load and then you can just call that quarter two. And then um, you can keep going from there. The other thing that um, I wanted to quickly show you while we're here just in case you're not familiar with Notion is how to actually edit everything. So let me just 
This has taken everything from that second quarter. So say, for instance, you want to put in your task and then you want to check it off when you click it. It will mark it as complete and you can uncheck it as well. And then if you want to um, change, you know, add more tasks in, etc., you can just press the return button. Um, or say if you're like, oh, I don't actually want the to-do list format, you can just highlight that. You can change it to your preference. So if you want it to be a bulleted list or a numbered list, you can do that as well. It's very, very straightforward to use. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. I've found it super useful and I love that I can just copy and paste things into the next day. So I don't have to sit there and be like, okay, I've got to write this out again and write this out again, and write this out again. And then over the month, I can look back and look at everything that I've achieved on those different uh, days. So you can log the past and the present and obviously the future as well. So yeah, head on over to Notion. Um, once I have an affiliate link, please use that because it helps to support this channel. Um, and then head over to the template itself and you can duplicate that template over to your Notion page and get started on it right away. Um, please subscribe for more videos like this from me and my new segment, The Cheat Sheets, and I'll see you again very soon.